kick a Halloween makeup look. So I'm going to be using Ben Nye Clear Lead Latex and Ben Nye Scab Blood. Now if you haven't heard of Ben Nye, where the heck have you been? It's the best Halloween and special effects makeup in the world. You're also going to need a sponge and some cotton balls. So first I'm starting off by darkening my face, adding kind of bruising, dirty effect with This Is Garnet by Senegence. It's their shadow scents. Then I'm just taking this MAC lipstick. It's one of the Viva Glams. Not sure. I never use it anymore. And I am just going to create a little more depth to that bruising, a little bit more color, a little bit more of a bloody, disgusting look. We are going to be covering this up, but if you don't have that base, then you're going to see your regular skin peeking through those holes. So you really just want to make sure you cover up that base first. So I'm just laying down liquid latex and then I'm taking ripped off pieces of that cotton ball and stretching it out over that liquid latex and then just pulling it so it's nice and piecey and then covering it with the liquid latex and then using my sponge I'm just blending and pushing that into the cotton ball. So we're just going to do that across my entire upper lip. Make sure that you pull and tug on those pieces. Make them look really piecey. That's what's going to give it that really cool skin-like hold on disgusting effect that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up but you get the basic gist of it. You're going to be laying down liquid latex in pieces because it does dry pretty quickly and then applying torn off pieces of the cotton ball, pulling on it, applying liquid latex and then again pushing through um, with the sponge just to make sure all of it is covered and then laughing at yourself because you look like a sexy old man. Make sure as you're going, you're using something to just pull that apart from your lips. You want to be able to make sure you can open your mouth, especially if you're going to wear, be wearing this the day of. Oh my gosh, I'm laughing at how ridiculous I look. If you're going to be wearing it the day of and you want to be able to eat through those holes, I suggest making them pretty large, making sure you can open your mouth. I did eat a snack and drink through a straw through my holes after they were done. So. Uh, there you have it. Oh, that sounds disgusting. I drink and ate through my holes. <laughs> Moving on. So here you can see I'm just making those pieces really elongated and dramatic. And then starting with the bottom lip, you're going to do things the same. However, once you lay that cotton ball down, you're going to be pulling upward. And I'm going to show you here in the slowed down version. I see I'm pulling it up and then connecting it to the top just to make it look like that torn open mouth gaping open effect and then I'm gonna speed it up again but it's the same thing that you did to the top that you're gonna be doing to the bottom so then I'm gonna jump forward I took my mouth and I elongated it out um, just because I didn't want it to look like a goatee um, I think the most important aspects of this look is just making it yours but also making sure that you are using the liquid latex in a way that it's going to blend seamlessly with your skin. So if I could do this again, which I will, I have done it again, um, I use more liquid latex on the edges and less cotton just to make it more, look more um, skin-like. Now I'm just taking scissors and pushing through these holes just to make sure that they're open and gaping. And then I am going to take scissors. Be so, so careful if you do this. I can feel where my mouth was, so I'm just jabbing into an open hole right there. <laughs> also what she said, I'm so sorry, that's disgusting. And being so careful, I am going to make those holes wider, I'm going to create a new hole here, you can see where I'm cutting, um, just to create a nastier looking effect. Um, just based off of your own face shape, what you're going to want to create, how nasty you're going to want it to look. I thought it would be pretty sweet to have uh, more gaping, nasty, disgusting holes to fill in with fake blood. So there you have it. Again, be so careful with those scissors. Please, please be so careful. So then you need to let it dry really well. I took a break for like 15 minutes. Again, I ate a snack through this. I'm telling you guys, mama's got to eat. Then I'm taking my foundation here. This is the Make Sense Foundation by Cinegents. I'm blending two colors because I don't have my exact color right now. I'm getting pretty fair. Uh, winter is approaching. I'm going to be the whitest color soon. So I'm just mixing it with my regular uh, color mixed with the whitest color. But I will be the whitest color soon. I guarantee it. Then I'm just taking that same sponge. It's not the same one as the latex. You don't want to put more latex on. It's a clean one. And just blending that in. And then I realized that my makeup brush would work better and if the latex is dry enough you can use your brush without ruining it 
and it really did. That Morphe brush is just amazing. Then I'm going back in with that same dirty brush from before that we used to create that bruising nasty effect. And I'm going over it again with more Garnet and a little bit more of that red lipstick just to create some more depth and dimension to make it look more like skin and also to make it look bruised and nasty. Then I'm taking a cotton ball and dipping it into that Ben Nye scab blood and I'm just going to fill in those holes and make it look like the dirty, disgusting scabs and blood are coming out of my mouth, dripping out of my mouth. I'm a zombie. I've been feasting on flesh while I look glamorous. I like to think that maybe I got eaten while I was all glammed and dolled up and now I'm like a glamorous, disgusting zombie. Like, look at those eyes. Slay. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I look like my oldest brother in like 20, 30 years. <laughs>